The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Guardian Radio AM. Jay in your company, Kenny alongside. And you know, we're here to keep it light. Just a little transition. We're going to talk some sports. We have a lot, a lot to talk about. Try to get a guest in studio with us today to talk about the evolution of sports here in the Bahamas and a diversification, let me say that, yeah. of sports, international sports and co- competing In the Bahamas, but we'll save that one for a rainy day. We'll have the intro conversation about it, but we're going to talk. It's a lot. We got a MLB lockout. Yeah, they still going at it. We got Embiid and Harden showcasing. They've been looking nice. We got problems in LA. A lot of problems in LA. Buddy's on the move and doing well. Yeah, he's been balling. But we got some winners and losers that we need to get in. There have been a lot of, you know, the league's going around. March Madness is gearing up, and we had a whole lot of, lot of upsets. It's it's gearing up, and we started off with some upsets, so I don't, I don't know. But let's just set the tone for the morning. Let's just bring a little bit of cleanse the air of all the politics and stuff. You're going to hear that later on after we leave. But right now, we're going to get into some, some sports, some winners, and some losers. And they stay there. And they say yeah. And they say there. All right, from the NHL, we had the Oilers um, falling to the Hurricanes one to two. Sabres got defeated by the Stars um, two to four. The Blues shut out the Blackouts four to zero. And the Jets got that win. Winnipeg beating the Coyotes uh, five to three. The Penguins. Beat the uh, Blue Jackets over there three to two. Do you follow hockey, Kenny? Yeah, you do. You do mostly because I'm a betting man. So ah, I there you go. Follow it. So, so you're a betting uh, man. I see a lot of unders today. Mm. Yesterday, I should say. Seattle uh, Kraken. They got defeated by the Sharks. Seattle has not come out of the box well in their debut season. I mean, it's hard to do. The Islanders shout out the Ducks again, uh, four to zero, and the Canucks beat the Rangers. Five to two. That's a little shocking. Yeah. We also had a lot of upsets, a lot of upsets from college basketball. Um, you want to go through those upsets? I mean, basically, number one through six, all loss in dramatic fashion for the most part. And, and we have this right now. Um, number one, the number one seed. Yeah, Gonzaga got snuffed. Like, they got by St. Mary's. Mary's yeah. 57 to 67, and number two, Arizona upset by Colorado. That was crazy. Um, they beat them. 63-79. Uh, we had another upset, number three, Auburn, um, got upset by the number 17, Tennessee. How are you number three and you get upset by the number 17? I mean, that's see? more respectable than losing the dudes on right? Like number one and two. Ooh, ooh, Just ooh. saying, like it's rough over there. Um, so they got upset there, 62-67. Purdue was upset, and Purdue's holding on to number four uh, seed right there. They got upset, upset sixty-five to sixty-eight. Yeah, Michigan State got them. Pretty, pretty, the dumb, dumb. pretty good game. Kansas, I didn't expect to see them on this list. They got upset by the number ten Baylor, seventy to eighty. Like I said, if you get beat from another ranked team, that's at least respectable. If y'all losing to dude to an even rank, that make you look bad before they start doing that committee. Giving out those rankings and where you want to be, where you place. So number six, Kentucky uh, was upset by the number eighteen seed in Arkansas, mm-hmm. and then number nine, Texas Tech was upset by TCU, sixty six yeah. to sixty nine. A lot of rivalry beatings on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's when you get that's when you get put down. Like even in football, a lot of times when Alabama lose, they lose to Auburn all the time. Always get beat by them rivals. They come to play. 
So do you is this a pre is this a is this a view into the future of what the actual tournament is gonna look? Do you think I you're mean, gonna see a lot of upsets? Yes. I mean every year is a lot of upsets. I never seen one time probably like maybe once where like the real number one and two team really clash for the championship. It's mm. really hard to do. You gotta be on your P's and Q's every single game. You can't let up. Everyone coming to take you down. Everyone knows when I go home. So mm-hmm. you got oh, the ball. Yeah, you even got one. Hey, that's the real Eminem right there. I lose yourself, you got one shot. <laughs> like you go down, you go down. What ended up happening with Juwan um with that he got skirmish? Suspended for the rest of the season. Oh, for the rest of the season? Yeah. Any players got caught up in um, that? Um one game suspensions. They played yesterday. Okay. Yeah, they mm-hmm. popped. Yes, right. we out for the rest of the season. All right, all right, all right. The numbers, it's going to be an open uh, call and show. Uh, j- vibe with us, text with us at 422-4796, or you can call in 323-6232-325-4316, 325-4259. We have some more scores to get to. Um, here from the NBA, here are the scores. The 76ers beat, I mean beat, the New York Knicks, one twenty-five to one hundred nine. We're gonna get to Harden and Embiid. Good, yeah, we're gonna get to Harden and Embiid in, in a couple of seconds. The Jazz beat the Suns. Not they're missing Chris Paul right now. The Jazz one eighteen to one fourteen. The Celtics got blew out by Buddy and company in the Indiana Man, that was, that was um, Pacers. One twenty-eight to one hundred seven. I don't understand why the Pistons are trying to win games. They don't have to worry about. Um, <laughs> but they beat the Charlotte Hornets 127 to 126 in dramatic fashion. Um, the Clippers edged out by one point. Um, they edged out the Houston Rockets. who have been playing hard. They're young, but yeah. they're playing really, I mean, really they hard. Got, they ain't got nothing to lose. They just been hooping. 99 to 98. The Maz beat the Warriors 107 to 101. Um, Clay and Steph fall into. Luca, you've been playing good since you lost that weight, man. And so I ain't got to take notes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, the Nuggets beat up on the. Yeah, they stomp on them boys. <laughs> they, they, that's the real team who's tanking right there. Beat, the beat up on the Blazers that's, right now, one twenty four to ninety two. You think they're really tanking? Yeah, they ain't coming back for the rest of the year. You didn't say he's shutting it down. They didn't trade CJ. They didn't trade all the other players. They only got Nurk on the floor, bro. Is there anybody? And uh, 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 Simons, that's it. Is there anybody in this draft? Worth it. Yes. Who? They got Panchayo from Duke. Mm. That dude is nice. They got the dude from Gonzaga, Chad Holmgren. He's like a, he pretty much like Brazilian. Gets with a little more skills. Mm. He's tall, skinny, but he can ball. Okay. Yeah, That's they good got stuff. some nice players. They got some nice dudes on Auburn, too. And the Pelicans destroyed my Los Angeles Lakers. Oh, my God. I'm tired. 123 to 95. They ain't even trying. Like, CJ just went there, and they've been hooping. Like, they've been beating on everybody. No, CJ, honest. CJ, no, no, no. But, I mean. But we looking horrible, bro. We are arguably, and, and I know all the Laker haters are probably going to call in and text in right now. Uh, three two three six two three two. We have trouble in L.A. You know, three two five they, four three one six. In? Them broad haters, they need glory right now. Oh, man. boy. That boy looking by. He's but it's, by right now. But, okay. I know we, because there's talk ab- around the league about a big trade that should happen in the offseason, right? What's that? There are two scenarios. Done for L.A.? Mm-hmm. You mean about that John Wall stuff? It? No, no, no. That John Wall, uh, that was John Wall trade was I would have took that, by the way. If you could have gotten it done, right? They didn't want to. It was on the table. This, this, the situation is this. Uh, uh, there's, you know, the anonymous GMs or executives. They're talking to the different reporters. ESPN trade machine dudes. Yeah. So they said, uh, I think this was to Chris. Uh, yeah, I think, I think they said it to, this to him, that the Lakers should look to move on from LeBron James. Just to get value. To get value and to avoid at least a decade of mediocrity. Yeah, but how you going to deal with a man with a no trade clause? Now, people don't think. No, no, people people don't, people don't think. They, they're saying they should go to him and make him yeah, like, move on. Yeah, but you think he's going to accept that trade? No. He's not going to accept it if you're going to take the talent that he got to go to. I don't think LeBron is the problem. Why, and why I, would I'll, he accept that? Of course he's the problem. He's I'll, the only one playing with sense. I'll Everybody go on record to say this. You know I'm a Laker fan. 
Yes. You know, I'm. I was never a big LeBron. I was no, never a big. Kobe fan. I'm a more real. Co- I'm a real Kobe fan. You, you Kobe more than Laker fan. Yeah. Yes, you are Kobe more than Laker fan. You one of those types. Mm. I didn't want LeBron. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You are Kobe more than Laker fan. Every single Kobe fan over just being a simple and plain Laker fan wanted no parts of LeBron James because now. That competition of Kobe versus LeBron getting shut down because now Kobe got a co-sign Braun, and then LeBron coming in. If LeBron wins, now it looks bad because now he win on Kobe team. That's what it is. But now that I have him, I've uh-huh. seen him play. I've, I've I've always respected his game. Yeah, don't get me wrong. At least you, at least you could say that. I didn't know dudes don't even do that. I didn't want him there because I knew the minute that we got him, yeah. all the young talent that we had been scraping for, sacrificed for, would go away, and then yeah. they would blossom with anybody else. Because at that point that we mm. got him, he wasn't interested in nurturing up and coming and using their youth to his benefit. Yeah, but Now, Jay. the narrative has changed. He could use some of that youth because the established veterans that he usually wins with, they don't have enough gas in the tank. It ain't even that. It's just the fact that... And they, they bumps. Okay, thank you. The main thing is that they got dudes that way out, way out their prime, and then you got... Brittle, Anthony Davis. Russell Westbrook, who should have been playing like we think Russell Westbrook will play, but yeah. he been just giving us the bad side of Russell Westbrook. Yeah. If he was giving us the good side, we would be in probably a fourth or fifth seed right now. I think he should have come off the bench. They will not put that man on the bench. I think I think 30. he should be a six man. You ain't gonna make thirty million be on the bench. I think he should They're be a six man. Do it. I think he should have um, go with the Lou Williams look. I think that would have been a little better. Remember when Melo was out the league? Mm. You know why? Mm. He didn't want the six man take that role when he was thought he was still Melo on the Russell Westbrook. Still thinks he's Russell Westbrook. Ego over championship. I think for a championship, he a six man. I think that would have worked a little better. Might have been different if he's winning them games. Then he'd be like, all right, I want soccer rights to win. We winning games, cool. But are we winning games right now, sir? No. He, has he been the sixth man? No. And they and but Frank Vogel doesn't have... And 80 ain't even back. So. 80, 80 is... If it's anybody that I would trade, that look to move this offseason to yeah, get value, you got to trade 80. the one who got the least avail- availability. Like, he's missing and he's the youngest one. So that's the biggest He check. hasn't. He hasn't been... He hasn't held up his held, end of the bargain. Only because he can't stay on the floor. And that's his fault. Yeah. He doesn't take care of his part. body. He hasn't elevated his game to the point or his conditioning to the but, point. Because he's been injured, what, every year for the last, what? His whole career pretty much, bro. Okay. I don't think he ever played a full season. But the difference is you can't just think someone going to be the alpha and get in that role and then think they're going to control that. Like, he ain't built for that. You gotta have someone who's built to take that road. So we mortgage fifteen of a fifteen fifteen oh, years. I'm about to say don't say fifteen like that. Uh, Ten years then of what? Of pros- possibly prosperity in youth. I mean for eight for break up eighty. I mean the, at the end of the day, sir. We got a bubble. We already got the championship. No, 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 no. They done sacrifice for that. We got the championship. Now everything else is just icing on the cake. The, the job has already been done. No, no, the job has not been done. We're it talking has. about the Los Angeles Lakers. We don't, we don't deal with okay. one championship and okay. then you go but, in the obscurity and maybe Jay, you might be a contender. What we go for Lakers? three peats? We go for three peats, right? We do box to box, or we're consistent. Over a period of time, and by the look of things, we will not be consistent. Okay. We have allowed the Golden State Warriors to re enter the conversation, right? The Nuggets look great. Porter's coming back. Phoenix. Yeah, but Phoenix got the shortest window of everybody because you relied on Chris Paul, and them legs always go down too. Well, Chris is in. And he's down right now. But he'll be back in time. You better hope so. He will be. But Phoenix, Phoenix, I'm just saying. Phoenix training staff has done a very good job yeah. over the last couple of years of rehabilitating. They've been doing that from Steve Nash time, but yeah. certain things you can't deal with. You can't rehabilitate somebody who always got soft tissue injuries. Like, it's not going to work. What I'm trying to tell you is that Lakers stuff is cool. All that sounds great and sweet. Mm-hmm. But when you've been trash for six, seven years, including when Kobe was on his last legs, yes. and then you finally get something going on. They killed my boy. At they, least they killed Kobe. you got a ring with it. 
at least. I, I don't even like at that minimum, ring. You I got a don't ring like it. that ring. Nobody likes the bubble ring, but that ain't under the one control because of situations of COVID. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it is what it is. But someone had to win. So, who would you trade? Um, let me put it out to the callers. Who would you trade? Would you trade LeBron? Uh, both of you are going to get a Kings ransom for. I don't you ain't like no Kings ransom for LeBron no more. Bro. I don't. I don't like the optics of trading LeBron because he's such a. He's yeah. been an iconic. You're not going to get a Kings ransom for LeBron. What anymore. do you think? What do you think? You're gonna because get LeBron? LeBron could just say, "Well, if y'all trade me, retire next year. I got one year left." You're not going to get a Kings ransom. What do you? What do you? Eighty is like twenty eight years old. He still got a lot of years left. Even though he always injured, he got a lot of years left. And every time he plays, he balls. So, so it, are we so trading eighty? 80. Do you think we trade 80? More than likely, but it ain't going to happen unless Bron co-sign it. Because, you know, that's he boy and he has his company. I'm tired of unless Bron co-sign No, it. I mean, the man is on the clutch. That's, that's Bron joint. So, he got to go. I mean, Rich Paul got to go sign that. They ain't like, are you saying that for fluff? They got to go sign that. Hmm. So, it has to be somebody that's worth it. Otherwise, it ain't going down. And you got to try to get Westbrook off the books, and I don't know how they're going to do that. Well, trouble in LA, 323-6232, 325-4316, or you could text in at 422-4796. Trade AD, trade LeBron, what does the Lakers do? But moving on from LA, right? Another trade that happened that was pretty much a big deal. James Harden getting out of Brooklyn, and I think, he got out at the right time because the mayor of New York has said on March seventh, uh, seventh, March seventh, mm-hmm. they will no longer require vaccines for indoor. But that don't mean nothing for and Kyrie. No, that does. Kyrie still can't play. There's 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 reports rumors that that is going to greatly affect his availability to play home games. They still say it. people can't play, aka Kyrie, even though they're doing that for everybody else. Kyrie still can't play. Is already out. They said that. When did they say that? A couple of days ago. We still can't play. Really? He still only got seven games left for the rest of the season, even they let all the mandates out. So, either way, Kyrie said that in mind. Mm. But James Harden out, and he's looking really uh, good with NBA. You no, know what's hurtful about it? What's Before that? I get to the James Harden stuff, Kyrie just beat Giannis in the box by himself. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. it's crazy that he a part of that mind, but you can't get mine because he can do stuff like that. Yeah. So, you just got to let it ride. Just got to okay, he come back. Ben, get on his head. Now he's talking about his back and all type stuff, whatever. But you got to hope they His back? Yeah, they trying to say his back is weak. And, like, what you been doing this whole offseason, bro? Besides Just looking crying at his phone te- like, Exactly. Texting and, and moving around. And he sure ain't digging no jumpers. <laughs> Hold on. He was working out with Kyle Corver. Man, please, dog. He was working out with Kyle. Is it? I don't, I'm not a big Ben Simmons fan. I didn't like how he tried to force him you, his way. You know why I don't respect none of them things? Because I can show you something right now that... There's always people playing with greats, and they're showing them things. I don't mean they could do it. Like, mm. Dwight Howard got trained from Hakeem Olajuwon, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Patrick Ewan. And what post game he ever had? Besides the little running hook. True. That don't mean you better have that in your game because someone's trying to show you what to do. True. So, I ain't worrying about that. Like, I do that J.J. Redick on this team for years, and really, and still can't shoot a jump shot. <laughs> what kind of call we could do versus J.J. Redick? What different? Like, what's the difference? Show me the difference, sir. What is the difference? I love J.J. Moore. Okay, so that's my point. Yeah. He had Seth Curry on his team from then and now, and he still can't shoot. So why you think just because Kyle showed himself, me going to do it? Mm. So now, with the Harden, that mom been going off. I was in a triple-double pretty much. And B it just they look eating. like they, they look really in sync. You know how it is, a guy, someone you got to put two on, and then the next person you got to put two there too. Like it's really hard. And then you got other dudes who can shoot, like Tobias Harris, and you got Moxie getting nice and everything. Like they looking good. Bro. I don't want to put the pressure on them, but they are playing like in sync, Kobe Shock. I can't do that. I can't do that. You want you don't want to put that pressure I'll, on them? I'll never do that. Why? Kobe is not going to get two fourteen assists. Like, James Harden is playmaking. Like, they look like Magic and Kareem more than Kobe and Shaq. Because James was, Harden pretty much Stock, putting up 25 and 14. What was Stockton Malone? No, because Stockton ain't shooting that much shots. True. Harden going to get his 25. He's going to get his buckets. Stockton, when you're looking for 10 to 15. What is what is Embiid averaging, right? 35, 10? 35 and 10 right now in the last two games. I mean, he's been doing that without Harden, but right. he's doing it more efficiently. And then, like, Harden. More effortlessly. Yeah, like, wow. he getting to the line. Like, he had, you know, had, like, 27 free throws in two games. Like, he's shooting free throws. He getting to the line. He getting open shots. He's saying this is the most open he ever been. 
Yeah, the Harden shooting like a crazy percent. He's shooting like 58% from tree and from the field. So he ain't even got to take shots. He only shoot like 13 shots a game and getting 20 something. The Eastern Conference is looking like the 2000 Western Conference right now. It's stocked. It's loaded. They got most of the stars on our side right now. It's unpredictable because you got teams like Chicago. The Heat is not a snob. Milwaukee, Brooklyn. Yeah. Um and now you got the Sixers. So who do you see? They don't even call Boston and they've been hooping. Too. Boston is trash. No, I wouldn't say that. Boston is they trash. They have a defensive team and then they got two guys. Boston, who can get 40. Boston is a first round exit. I'm I, talking, I would not say that, sir. I Boston defense is, win championships inside the playoffs in Boston. Boston get further in the first. Boston round. is a first. You want round to wager this? Ex- you want to wager this? What sir? you got something to do for me? You can, yeah, <laughs> we, we, can do, we can do a little skip and shine if you want to. We can wager this. But I'm saying like okay. they get frosted them. The first. Oh, all right. So this text says that the biggest mistake that the Lakers made is when they broke up their team who won the championship. Um, what was management thinking? Wow. Man, I feel them. I think I, I think what ended up happening with that one, I think Dwight moved on too quickly. Didn't allow No, we didn't want to pay him. We didn't want to pay Dwight. We didn't want you to sure? pay Dwight. I'm telling you, we didn't want to pay Dwight. I, sure, I was I, trying to take a cut and we just decided no. All right, we should have kept JaVale McGee. Definitely. And then we definitely should have kept Caruso. Yeah, yeah, that, that hurt. Yeah, yeah. let Caruso yeah. go because that's the Caruso, defender and he yeah. can shoot. Undercut and then Caruso, that's a crowd was, favorite. And then yeah. McGee can actually make up for AD and his mistakes. Like when, like and, look at the Suns when DeAndre Aiden ain't playing, McGee be hooping, bro. Yeah, that's why they can yeah. win them games. Yeah, and and obviously unlike AD, McGee will do your dirty work for you. Yeah, he wants to play center. That's yeah. what his role yeah. is. And I don't understand why AD. Well, I could understand because he's brittle. He can't take them, but he ain't like he can't banging, take the only MB and Jokic really banging in the paint. Maybe Giannis, but we don't know. But that's 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 East. He he has to get him. Yeah, get the West, bro. Mm. Nobody else comes to mind, standard wise. I mean, as far as like who gonna be on the block mm. and posting up and True. putting weight on you is what I'm saying. Like ain't nobody really doing that no more. Mm. He just don't want to play. Up. That's like when KG didn't want to play center. Like that same type of thing. Only difference is KD, KG wasn't brittle. No, that's the only difference. He was insane. Yeah. He was he was absolutely insane. We're gonna take a quick break, and when we come back, we're gonna you know leave it open for you to weigh in on the Lakers crisis. But we're gonna talk more the evolution of sports here in the country. What do we need to do? What should we should we move on from cricket as being a national sport? I'll <laughs> I never understand. I, why I saw we I have saw, cricket I saw, I saw the rule eyed from Kenny, but we're gonna take a quick break, and we're gonna come right back. I probably saw cricket about once in my life. <laughs> Hold on, sweetie. Mommy's sending a text. But mommy, my teacher said that you're not supposed to text and drive. I know what I'm doing. Oh, look, mommy, the Smith twins. Mommy, watch out! In 2017, approximately 54 people died as a result of traffic accidents. A percentage of these fatalities occurred as a result of texting while driving. Just taking your eyes off the road for five seconds can increase your chance of crashing. Remember, even the smallest voice counts. Brought to you by UB Radio and Guardian Radio 96.9. Always on the go? Miss the show? You can now listen to Guardian Radio talk shows anytime, anywhere on Spotify and YouTube by searching Guardian Radio 96.9 FM or by entering the name of your favorite show. You can also listen by logging on to GuardianTalkRadio.com and clicking on the podcast tab. Guardian Radio, continuing to provide you with fresh news and smart talk anywhere, anytime, all day. This is Guardian Radio 969 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Radio AM 
Sam J and Company, company by Kenny. Um, the lines are open right now. 323-6232-325-4316. 325 Or you can text in at 422-4796. I'll accept all the texts uh, about the Lakers crisis and who we should trade, Braun or um, AD. But I want to talk a little bit more about establishing a sports identity here. Um, right now, the national sport is cricket. I still don't understand this. Why? Um, and we could go in so many different directions. This yeah. is this is a sporting paradise. We could go sailing, which we established early. We won gold in the Olympics in. Uh-huh. Um, it's a luxury sport. It is. Right? Um, so that should be something that is happening here. We should be a capital for that. Um, then we see all of our young people, our baseball prospects. Everybody's every other. It feels like every other month, every season, I see someone committing. Um, Jazz is doing so well. We have so many young Bahamians playing for professional MLB teams or in the yeah, going up in, in the, the ranks. Minors, they, yeah. They're working their way up the ranks. Then we see we dominant in, in track and field. According to the Bahamas, we won the whole Olympics. Right, yeah, for capital, we be looking good. Yeah, right. So. so, so we have that, and then you have our. We have one person that got drafted by the Colts in the NFL. Yeah, Mike Strong. Right, uh-huh. cousin of yours. I have no idea. We need to find out because we, we need to take people like Cleveland Cousins, but I knew it. I, I, I wouldn't go that far. I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe. I'll have the last Remember, so name. much Strong's around. Ex- but, exactly. Yeah. So get us some tickets, please, especially if they happen to make it to the Super Bowl. I'll see what I could do. Thank you, Kenny. Um, and now you have um, the NBA, right? You have the Buddy Heels. You have DeAndre Aiden. Yep. You have um, Jones now. And, yeah. and, um, Kai Jones. Kai Jones. And, and John Quell. Oh, she's she been balling. She's MVP. WNBA, balling. Yeah. MV- we need to do something for her. Yeah. Okay? So I, I know we pay attention to the you male. You don't recognize them enough. But, but we, yes, we really have to give them their flowers now. Not a piece of line that doesn't have the well, infrastructure. They ain't going to promise properly. Right? But we need to really do something. I have a caller on the line. Caller, good morning. Welcome to Guardian Radio AM. Hey, Jay. Hey. I will say. Where are you, man? I, I want to speak on uh, Crooked. Uh, I, when I was a young boy, I used to play Crooked on the Western Fort with... Uh, better known as Bob Taylor, right? Uh, is that the, the we, is, Western Fort? You mean the circle by the cricket club? That was that was brought here. That was brought here by uh, the Barbadians when uh, the government had recruited uh, the police to come over here mm. to assist us, to assist the Bahamas okay. when okay, we okay. were under Britain. Okay, some sort okay, of historical not fact. National sport. But no, actually, it's on the it's on the books as our national can I sport. Tell you? It's actually on the books as our national sport. Yeah, like if you get that. Yeah, well, that's what, well, the, the people don't know. Mm. Like I said, when I was a young boy, you know what I'm right. saying? Uh-huh. I used to play that. What do you think should be our national sport? What I think should be our national sport? Mm-hmm. Uh, boating. Boating. So you agree that sailing is, plays that's a... That's sailing. That's sailing. That's what I'm speaking of. Okay. But I, I know from where the uh, crooked came because I used to play that. Okay. Appreciate appreciate the knowledge, man. I appreciate it. All right. We have a text coming in. Hey, guys. Um, I hear your perspective on current teams and adjustments being made. However, I see the same two teams back in the championship simply because they are virtually the same front, um, front players from the pre- previous year. I think it's fundamental. Um, let me expand. I think it's fundamental for progress this year. They will just need to tweak some things as opposed to changing their personnel and succession altogether. So they're trying to say they're going to be Bucks against Suns again? I, I mean, I could see that. I don't see that. I, I could see the Suns making it back. I don't see the Bucks making it back. You don't think so? No. Who do you think coming out? Don't forget, like, people you know, be forgetting. There was one little big toe away from yeah, getting thrown yeah, out yeah. from just KD and an injured James Harden. Like, it's going to be so hard for them to repeat. You, you, you think, you think I don't KD, think they're going to make it back. You think KD them can make it? Out of them or Philly. I don't think they'll make it. I don't you, think they'll make it back. You know who I have as a dark horse? Who? Chicago. No. No. I think Chicago's no. going to upset somebody. No. I think Chicago's going to upset somebody. No. This is the... You don't see the Chicago this is the Eastern ultimate Conference? regular season team. Like the Atlanta Hawks used to be when they was winning all them games, got four All-Stars. Then when mm. they see the burn, they get swept because mm. they don't got enough firepower. Mm. 
Like the Rose ain't gonna do that in the playoffs when they close up the lane. I would love to see him. Mid-range. I would love to see him get one and get revenge. On yeah, the but Raptors. I don't see the Rose knowing that as the dog. He's not gonna do that as the man. Like, mm. and then Lonzo and all them dudes. I don't know if they're coming back. Oh, okay. Uh, no, that's not text. Okay. So back to our overall discussion, evolution, and I and I really, really wish we had gotten the guests that we wanted to come in and talk about this. But you know, we we'll, we get that another day because these are conversations that we need to have. We yeah. need to establish our. Uh, it's important for us to establish a cultural identity. It's important for us to uh, identify characteristics out and, and live up to those characteristics outlined and not the preamble of our constitution. Mm-hmm. And it's also important for us to identify a sports identity um, because I think uh, th- establishing the right national sport gives and helps to foster opportunities for young people to strive towards. And, and I think establishing something and becoming a feeder for our Western counterparts, those leagues, the NBA, MLB, the NFL, could provide a lot of big dividends or good dividends for the country at large. Yeah. Right? Um, because we've seen um, what platforms have been used. You can't, you can't pay for that type of marketing. No. Every time Buddy or um, Aiden is highlighted, the promise comes up. Um, we saw when Buddy was in the Final Four. Yeah, he had everything flowing. It, like he, like I, I even like when he got like, drafted, he had the flag and the jacket and stuff yeah, like that. Like yeah, you can't you you can't pay for that. So I want to invite everybody to call in and, and weigh in on this. I think it's a very important conversation because I think people with decision making um, abilities they listen to these talk shows. Um, and and if you notice it right now, this particular I wouldn't say administration is pandering to more public opinion, but uh-huh. they're paying attention and they're trying to make the right decisions. I I, I like I to, told you about I I saw a sneak peek of a show. I don't know if it's been published as yet, um, where uh, Kermit was interviewing the minister, uh-huh. uh, the current minister of sports. And culture, and he was talking about trying to introduce American football into the high schools. That's, um, that's one thing I wish we had back in our days. Really? Yeah. Why? Because it's way more scholarship offers. Mm. There's, and over, we have the raw. Time there's over it. 500, 600 colleges who have football programs. That's a way to get out. That's a way to get a scholarship. It's a way to get. A, chance to graduate, possibly make the league, or go to Canada or somewhere else mm-hmm. to be able to do something right. and get out and do what you got to do. I, and a, there are, like a lot, there people, are a lot of young um, Bahamian kids uh, that uh, fit the physique requirements yeah. that are going on in these high schools. You don't got to be a so well. particular size to play football. You can be big and play. You can be small and play. You just got to have some type of skill set. And, and then you have to know the and fundamentals discipline. and discipline. Yeah. Yeah. And who can't who, who could argue that our youth could use a little bit more discipline? That's right. They, they could use a little more focused time for training after schools, right? Uh-huh. Um, instead of running around through the mall, through the neighbor, doing, doing foolishness, foolishness yeah, like, being idle. At least you idle, have something to do. You have something and to do. And then you learn teamwork. And learn how to, you can't just do everything by yourself. You need others to help you. Sports... That's why I love sports. Organized sports sports is, there's a level of intelligence that goes along with it. People think it's, oh, you just passing the ball, you hitting the ball or whatever. No, there's. You got to have chemistry. You got to do all that. Unless you're playing a one-on-one sport like tennis or something, you got to be able to have some type of people skills and team skills to be able to succeed. So what's your pick for the national sport? I mean, the sailing would be a good idea because all we got is water. We got all the views. We got the ability to do it. That will probably be the best thing. It'll be a lot of the best venue, yeah. so that'll work. But I still don't understand this cricket thing. And then, like, this this is a crazy thing. You know, every time people talk about cricket inside school, mm. is when you got that little PE exam and they ask you what's your national sport, and not be there, and you be trying to figure it out, and you got to get it right or wrong. Only reason I used to get that right because my daddy was a PE teacher. 
Because the only reason why I know we, that. I never learned cricket at all. What school teaches this? I don't see no school even have a ball or a bat or none of these things. You know how I see in a cricket bat? Because my daddy was a PE teacher. And I've, I've never I've, been to I've, a class I've where they say it, we're going to teach the national sport today. I've seen it played when you're overlooking the circle at the cricket ground. And I'm like, how can you flourish with your national sport if you're not even showing how to play or the rules? What do you think about the diversification of our Olympic team outside of just track and field? I mean, it's getting better. How you got so? other things people and, trying and to swimming. do. And swimming, yeah, people yeah. trying to expand on different things. So you got you got the rowing club that yeah. in, in Providence been and nice. in Exuma. Yeah, they've been right? nice. They're looking pretty good. Um, Xavion is doing well in his tournaments. Yeah, in, in, in yeah people doing judo and jiu-jitsu and all the stuff. Um, what else can we offer? Boxing. Yeah. Well, Boxing has always been a stable, too. Yeah. Um, what else is there? I mean, they've been doing I with soccer and volleyball lately. As far as beach like, volleyball, the, the beach volleyball what, and stuff. Why and that, is like, that not a thing here? Like from I mean, organized. That's thing get better at. I mean, you got to take advantage of what you have. Yes, definitely. And and and, and look at the marketing because I, here's the thing. If I remember Sports in Paradise, and I, I remember the Ministry of Tourism um, really tried to make a real hard push with advancing that. Mm. And if you look at the revenue that can be made with selling TV rights to these different sporting events, that's that's some revenue right there. Yeah, that's an option. Right? And it's not that we don't have the talent because I think the Mahamas is one of the most untapped Oh, the people. Yeah, I don't think the people. I look at our people as a natural resource. A lot of things that we are not exporting. People just be raw and they just make it. Like they don't come out the womb thinking like I want to do this. They just wind up doing it because they try to figure out how they go and get their lunch or their meal, and they just wind up making it work. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of people just don't say, "Hey, I want to just do this thing," and then it happens. You know over how here many like that. Um, running backs we could have le- yeah, developed. I Simple thing is people coming from soccer and just moving to that and just learning the nuances of the game and being able to play with contact, like the rugby players and stuff like that. Like, it would be something you could do because it's the same type of stuff you got to do. You're on the field, you got your cleats, contact. All you got to do is learn a few things, and you could be able to try and get out. 323-6232-325-4316-325-4259. What do you think? Should be the national sport, and why? Do you support cricket? Do you think it should remain cricket? Don't ask because me. You know my then, answer. <laughs> I mean, because I, Empress did a show the other day um, on it, and she called, I think it was the Ministry of Youth, Sports, and Culture, mm-hmm. and the person burst out laughing and didn't even know. And someone else. And that's crazy. That you don't know the ministry national to, sport new in that area. From tourism, had to come and say, "Hey, you know, it's it's cricket, cricket, cricket." You know, when I see cricket, mm. if I miss and see the Cosby show, and you see Bill in the backyard, I'll see him playing cricket. Bill Cosby played cricket. Yes, on the Cosby show. I mean, he did a lot of weird stuff, so I don't. True. Know. Uh, I don't know. True. Don't ever bring up. Bill and Cosby. I might, <laughs> and I might see, I might see it on ESPN when I'm trying to watch another sport, and they just have it on ESPN. And don't and get me it. wrong. Don't get me wrong. Over in Europe, India, like, cricket is a huge, huge sport. I get it. But if we're going to have it as a national, just Someone say... Someone got to be and, able and to teach I, the kids something. Teach them something, have a legitimate program, and and help us out. Help us figure this out. I know out. they used to have it at Windsor. I don't know if they still do. Do they? I know they had the lean and everything... Because I used to practice out there. I, I, think, the, see I think the but, only place that they play now is the... Um, by the cricket club? By the cricket club, yeah. Probably. But I know they used to do it there. But I ain't seen it in a long time. Okay. This text says the national sport should be sailing. And also we should take advantage of our northern neighbors and um, promote more baseball and football. Listen, the baseball program, they've done it in a yeah, great they've been job independently. Like yeah. They've blown up. They get these kids opportunities. The kids are always going off to different camps, whether it's right there in Florida or our uh, southern neighbors in the DR. This is something like asking you all about mm-hmm. or guessing about. This is something like yeah, you know. got some students who do that stuff, right? so you would know. Yeah, so, and 
they're really good, and, and they're always signing. They're always making commitments. Yeah. Um, we've seen what Jazz was able to do with the Marlins this uh, previous season, and with the lockout, after, hopefully his, it, it continues. Yeah, but that's why I push in football, too, because mm. you got way more scholarship offers in so, football so, versus baseball. Baseball so, only, but how much, nine, ten people on the field? Only so much people on the bench so and, and the per, dugout. From a personnel standpoint. Yes, you got 60, 60 to 65 and in college, it's more like 80-something mm. per college. Mm. So that's way more chances. True. That's why it should be something that needs to be looking to. So, the, so, and you notice that the NFL is partnering with the XFL to yeah. kind of... Trying to figure out rules GD and different things like that. Yeah. yeah. So and that's interesting. That's definitely interesting. What do you think, um, talking about sports in paradise, uh, the football bowl that we have here, would, would, because a lot of... They attract the teams. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the, the fan base comes down with the teams, but it doesn't seem as if we as a people have bought into it. Similar to say, what we, how we bought into like the Battle of Atlantis. Yeah, but I always say this. like You can't have a football game in the day on a weekday and expect us to come out because we are at work. Should you know, like, I'm gonna duck work to go watch so college should, football. So it should be a Friday. If it was the NFL, people would duck work and go to watch that. But college football, and they don't know the teams, they're not gonna do that. So it should be a Friday night light situation. That would be way better because you got people having a chance to go. And then they don't really promote it that much either. The so, whereas you would see, like, oh, this game coming up. Like, you know, when I find out about that, nice for football, do it. I find out about that the same week. So you can't even plan it out. It's always weird that they have it around, like, like Christmas. I mean, that's bowl season. That's, oh, that's bowl season. Okay, okay. So I understand that. So but you can't it, get it away just needs to be on the weekend for the most part. Like you got to figure out how to get it on the weekend, or at least in the evening, so people can knock off and get to the stadium. So like a seven o'clock start time. Yeah, get to the. Give me a chance to get to the stadium. Mm, interesting. Okay. So for those organizers of that particular event, Kenny has spoken. Um, I personally feel. Uh, I, I personally feel that basketball um, should be a national sport. I think baseball has its um, advantage. I agree. Sailing does. I think sail- it should, we should be a capital for sailing. Yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I know we do a lot of the sports fishing and stuff like that. Um, remote keys and, and islands do that. But I think we don't, it's not, Front and center. I don't think it's as accessible. It isn't. Um, I don't think it's promoted properly. And I, and I, and I, it comes with a level of uh, discourse, public discourse, and education, and then promoting. So there, there are steps, there are levels to this. But we as a people have to want more, or want it in order for that infrastructure to be laid. Because without the infrastructure, we could we see the difficulty of getting to the next level. We Heard and because if you haven't heard the buddy story over and over, yeah. if you the sacrifice that the financial sacrifices that had to be made to you make go sure all that, bro. Um, that he played college for the, as long as he did uh, at the uh, the height that he did it. Yeah. Um, DeAndre story, John Quell story. We we need to give these athletes more support. Uh, we need to legitimately look at. Um, serious ways to fund these because that threat of pulling the national team from an Olympic qualifier, I should never see a press release or a rumor like that. Yeah, I, that's I, that, that's that, that, for me, that was embarrassing. For Buddy to come out and t- pretty much tell you, y'all playing with your ma, y'all <laughs> ain't serious. That, for me, that, it, it was a slap in the face. So we have to get serious. Um, boy, this is a lengthy text right here. Yeah, that, that looks like one. Um, Bahamians speak from ignorance a lot. No insult um, intended, but we dismiss other cultures simply because we have no knowledge of them or the thing the thing it is. Cricket is a beautiful sport, and it requires physical stamina. I'm thinking more than baseball. The bowler has to run at the speed um, to pitch, and those batters could be there potentially for over 30 minutes. The batter hit, and... The batter hits and has to run um, back and forth between the stumps continuously. 
that is stamina. Listen, I'm not knocking the judging. Cricket. No one, no one's knocking the sport. I'm knocking the fact that we are not taught the sport. I'm not, not knocking the sport at all. I never said cricket is trash or why is cricket even a sport, period. I'm saying why is it a national sport if we are not taught that in school or any form? Not even for a summer program or for anything. I've never heard anything and, and about cricket being something that can be taught. Identifying another discipline as a national sport doesn't mean that we don't play cricket at all, you know. I notice. Right. Um, but we need to figure out the proper avenues and, and cultivate the proper avenues for people to not play the sport just leisurely, but also professionally. Yeah, because, learn. The, because one of the, I, the, the ideas of identifying and cultivating a national sport is to give the youth opportunities to show them the way to show them the way to get to the higher professional like, level. I could have been a goat, like, but I never, I'll never know because I never had a chance to even pick a bottom. Yeah. So how do I know? Um, rather than dismissing cricket, why don't we look at this as an opportunity if we have so many baseball players, some who won't ever get to the MLB, um, but are talented, can their skills be transferred to cricket? I mean... That could be something, too. I mean... But I never heard anyone try it. Go go right ahead. Let's see. If, 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 if cricket is a national sport, and we have a Ministry of Youth Sports and Culture, we have the Ministry of Education. We have PE programs actually introduce it as a part of the curriculum because the season for us, how we were tested back in Muhammad's Academy, we did volleyball. We need to know the ball. actually did all that. We did volleyball. We did basketball. We did softball. Um, and then we did track. And we needed to know the fundamental layout. We had the same thing. Right? Um, we need to know the it. different techniques. Soccer too. We did soccer. Yeah, we had too. soccer. I would not say right. We had soccer too. And we needed to know the techniques. We needed to know the the field, the pitch, yeah. all this other stuff. Label it, diagram, all that the stuff. The only thing we, we did, did on not, our field we did was not track and field. We didn't do cricket. We didn't and do soccer, it. and maybe baseball, softball. I should say that's it. Like that's, that's literally so, it. So no one's just missing it. And and I don't I don't know. You, you may have a stake in it. Or you may have some um, personal passion they for it. You may play the sport. That does, that do it, but you see it, but you, it. you're passionate about yeah. it. But I can't. I'm not dismissing it. I'm just, I'm just. I'm just saying that we need to look at something else if this hasn't worked for us. Because what professional cricket player have we produced in the last 25, 30 years? I can't tell you. Okay. I can tell you. About the basketball players, I could tell you about. I could tell you about basketball, football, baseball, a lot of things. We probably will have a hockey player before we have a professional. <laughs> that would be wild, right? We got no ice, like so. Come on. So I mean, I I hear you. I understand it. I get it. Um, this one says good conversation. However, just an FYI, cricket is not the national sport of the Bahamas. In fact, there's no official national sport of the Bahamas. Cricket has been traditionally recognized just because it's the oldest organized sport here. There have been many, many attempts to name an official sport, particularly for sailing, but it has never been put through. Okay. I can Thank accept you. that. I can accept. I definitely could accept that. I definitely That national could. sport thing been bugging me because I've okay. never seen anyone do it. So cricket isn't a national sport. Let's revamp it according to this text. It is the oldest organized sport that we have here. It's still a disgrace that no has, one has been taught this, and it's the oldest one. Right. We should be able to show something. And according to the court, the, the court of public opinion, it's a national sport. So, there's that. I have a caller on the line. Okay, not that caller. Okay, cool. That's that, that's fine with me. And we're wrapping up the show. So, if you want to call in, 323-6232-325-4316-325-4259-422-4796 is the line to text. Um, and listen, I didn't mean to offend anybody. Uh, anybody that plays cricket, great. I, and I'm sure you have the stamina. I recognize you as an athlete because I think it's a sport. It's not, I mean, I recognize it as a sport because it is a sport. And yeah. I know about how big of a sport it is over in Europe um, and India. And I know about that federation or organization. Like, I, I get it. It's a billion dollar industry. I get it. You just got to tap into it. Yes. That, that's my only thing. If you're going to recognize something or have something be your national sport, there has to be opportunities for your citizens, namely young citizens, 
there has to be a path that give they can t- to give them the opportunity to create some sort of generational changing opportunity slash wealth for them. We've seen it done with basketball, mm-hmm. right? A- Aiden is going to pick up the bag. Buddy has picked up the bag already. Yeah, John Quell is with the do. WNBA. She Whole does, MVP. You, you understand? Um, she's doing so well. And Kai Jones hopefully will get the opportunity to shine in New Orleans. It's a young and upcoming team. Same with Mike Strong. Hopefully he gets some more reps next season. Yeah. Right? So just, Reach out to your cousins because I need my Super Bowl tickets, there please. Is this, is this opportunity now? That's all it is. That's all we're saying. And we see what the MLB is doing. We see the talent that's continuously going there. We, we have on, like, we have the talent. That our people are talented, raw, like raw talent. We can dominate at everything. We have Grammy Award winners. We have Oscar winners. We have NBA champions. We can do it. We just need to. And we need to petition. We need to push. We need to prod for the infrastructure that we need to be laid so that our people can take advantage. Um, good day. The national sport ought to be sailing. Um, and, but we ought to promote cheaper sports like soccer and basketball in the schools. Great show. Thanks. And I appreciate yeah. that. Thank you for your contribution. I we agree. appreciate your contribution. And we do. We do need to promote different sports. But we need to have one that says this is what our culture is. Uh-huh. This is what we're known for. This is where it's at. You know what the biggest is, problem and, is, though? In sailing, I could get behind it 100%. Yeah. Not the regard It is thing, a budget issue, but right? it's still something I'm you talking about like legitimate, internationally recognized sailing. We should have a marquee event here every single year. You know what's one every of the biggest season, issues too, Jake? we should have that marquee event. Yes. You know Those are the biggest issues, too, as mm-hmm. far as like getting into more sports. Like, for instance, me coming up. He basically dictated what we do in PE. Like, so a PE teacher ain't going to tell you we're going to learn the sport today. Oh, y'all have one just, of those. They'll just come there and say, yeah, make sure your clothes are on. And then that's basically a great deal. Mm. So if you just want to do something, do it just while playing basketball or So something. there was no... There ain't no structure as far as... Maybe it changed now. Hopefully it does. Or it did, I should say. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping but it But it's did. like, no one is trying to structurally show you how to do something to make you feel like there's something I could do. Mm. You got to do it on your own outside, like in the summer or something. So consistency. You need more support from the PE teachers and stuff like that to show people like this often you could try besides maybe track or basketball. And if we have the other opportunity to come in, we're going to talk about everything. We're going to talk about what happened to the Bahamas games, <laughs> right? We're going to talk right about funding these different ideas for the evolution of sports. Um, but you're going to take one point. No, that's the same caller. Okay, that, that wasn't that. Um, but it's, it's been great being here with you guys, and I appreciate all the love, all the texts that came in. I hope you guys have a great, great day. But continue to think about these things. Continue to push. And if you have the ability to make a difference, to help to fuel a spark in somebody, to push them towards their dreams, continue to do that. This is Jay and Kenny, Guardian Radio AM. The revolution is next. Good afternoon.